Jasmine reporting for Katie Chats here at the Real World Indie Film Lounge in downtown Toronto. I'm here with filmmaker Ackley Olton from St. Vincent. What is the best part about being here at the Real World Indie Film Lounge? Wow, the best part about being here is being a Caribbean person. And, and completely being immersed and surrounded by people who understand what you're doing. Because you know, like being in the islands, you're so isolated. And yes, you have an interest, but you know, you're like a crazy person because nobody believes in what you're doing. Like everybody's like, oh, you want to be a filmmaker, you want to go to Hollywood. And I was like, no, I want our stories about us and about, you know, and you know, like everybody I meet, every conversation I have is just, it's just so uplifting because everybody is excited about making films. And it's not even about trying to be famous or trying to be a star. It's about telling your stories and feeling, you know, like purging emotionally to say what you want to say as an artist. How did growing up in St. Vincent influence your filmmaking? Well, maybe I should start at, you know, like I went to like a really good school, like a, a grammar school and I was supposed to be an accountant, but I could always draw. And I don't know, like my artistic, I don't know, connection, just pull me, pull me until I became a filmmaker. So I'm still grateful for the circumstances, but St. Vincent makes me, it makes me stay inspired. It makes me stay hungry because it's so difficult because nobody understands that I just want to do it to do it so, so you can learn and so people can learn and understand how important telling our stories is. And how did your artistic background influence your eye for cinematography? Well, I could, re I could draw from, from both. I could draw. Before I could write, I could draw. And then I studied visual arts in school and then I went and studied painting. So I, I could translate the formal elements of design onto a screen like composition and framing and colors and every and texture and everything like i could do that with a camera and the camera adds another another perspective because you can move so because you can move you can make the emotion last longer which means like it's so powerful it's so powerful like it makes me cry sometimes and where's the best place to find out more information on you and your projects online? Okay, well I have a website called irebelheart.com and I also have like my Facebook page is the most active space which is irebel, well it's just irebel because you know I've launched a rebellion against everything that says I should be an accountant because I want to make films. Good for you. Thank you so much. Congratulations and have a great time this evening. Thank you. Thank you. All right, nice meeting you. Nice to meet you. I'm Katie Allman reporting for Katie Chats here at the Real World Indie Film Lounge in downtown Toronto.